Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And today's video is about making mini mating nukes for making queens. Now please stick around till the end of the video. We'll, we will be an, announcing the winner of the NICOG kit that we had in the video of new beekeepers and what you need to get started. And also the winner of the three pound package of bees with Lane Queen. We have the winners of both of those, so please stick around the end of the video. We'll announce those winners. Okay, today's video is what we got here. We got a five frame nuke. And I've already started this to speed up the process a little bit, so some of this wasn't necessary to show to everyone. But what we did, this video actually is in two parts of information and the first part is when we come across this nuke right here we come across this situation right here so what has happened when I got in the nuke now these these are overwintered nukes so you know we're really not sure when we get into some of these what we're up against and what had happened one of the combs had fell down and broke off and it and it actually got in the bottom and it's it's wet and it looks like it dropped a bunch of pollen got in here so now there's dead bees and as you can see the old nasty larva of the hive beetle and they're all through it so some situations what we do we'll just scrape that out and reuse it but in this situation it's so wet and it needs to dry and sometimes it's best to anyways go out and go ahead and change out the whole box so what we did, right there, you'll see the, this is the replacement box right here. So all we did, we put the new box right there and started transferring the frames over. And that's the old one, that's the new one. And as we was going through it, we found the queen. She's on actually on this frame right here. We won't pull them out to disturb them anymore. And I've already selected the frame that I'm going to use for the queen mating nuke. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the replacement frame right here. And all it is is a frame. It's a starter strip. New beekeepers, if you want to save on buying some wax and stuff, use these right here. And if you, as you can see, the fishing line, it's eight pound test line. And that'll strengthen up that wax because because new wax is very very tender and it breaks off and if you turn it sideways it's going to fall out the string will help it stay in there so the starter strip is all you need now if you if you do use starter strips always use them in between two frames that are already drawn out because if not you end up with wild comb and they'll just they'll uh, pin them together they'll put them together and that's not a good situation and okay so I've already got a frame here that I've got pulled out and that's it right here. Now here's the ideal frame that you want to get. This right here has all stages of brood. Uh, brood for the new beekeeper is, is baby bees or it's the, it's the eggs in all stages. Hopefully you can see this on camera. You can see, I can see day old eggs in there. I can see two day old eggs, uh, three day uh, larger larva all the way up to capped brood now this right here you can use and also it's got a little bit of honey now ideally it would be nice to have a little bit of pollen on this frame as well but it's not actually necessary and this actually has a lot of baby bees a lot of nurse bees and you can see some drones in here so we're getting drones so we're uh we're okay to to start making some of these not a whole lot of them but you know always check your drone population you want to have adequate amount of drones to make queens so basically what we do we'll come over here and we'll, we'll drop this frame in just like that now right here is a starter strip just like that one over there and that's basically it now you can do what we call walk away split uh, walk away split is just what I did right there and you don't do anything else to it except put a pollen patty on it a feeder and let it go in 30 days if everything went okay you should have a mated queen now in 10 days 
you can pull it out and check and see if you have queen cells. And it's, it's always not 100%, but with a walkway split, usually last year, early, because the earlier the better, you'll get a higher success rate with mated queens earlier in the year because the drone population's high. So if you do 10, seven, eight is probably about right because that's what we got last year when we did a lot of these here. And later on in the year, it gets that, that uh, percentage goes down and down as the drone population falls off and so does the nectar flow and then more issues come in, hive beetles and such. So if you want to make queens and new beekeepers, do it early, but remember, make sure that it's warm enough your nighttime temperatures aren't real cold. Now, actually, we did uh, some last year, and the, the nighttime temperatures did get chilly, but not extremely cold. So keep an eye on that. You know, when the when when it's the nighttime temperatures uh, are 45, you're usually okay. 45 and above, you're usually okay with not getting chill brew because as long as you have enough bees on that frame you will be okay now the amount of bees that it usually takes for this okay it takes basically one frame and then if you would shake all those bees off you'd probably have a cup full of bees maybe a cup and a half max okay now you saw how simple that was right there and how easy that was now going on a little bit of off subject about another mate and nuke that the professionals use and professional queen makers is what they call the the mini mating box which is basically about seven inches by five inches i believe and you uh you make the frames and they're very tiny very tiny frames you can actually even buy styrofoam ones uh i do not advise those for a new beekeeper if you've been in this for a while and you got the time to go out there and check these every day or every couple of days okay but I'm telling the new beekeeper, you really don't need to mess with these. They talk about these online, and I do not advise them. Unless you've been doing this for years and you know what you're doing. Stick with these right here. You can, you can do these right here with your first bees that you get. you get. You get a package of bees, you bring it home, you grow it out, and your 5 frame, 10 frame, it's ready to split. You can, you can do it from there into these mini mate nukes. You can pull a frame out. It's that easy. And all you'll do is you'll, you'll put your little pollen patty, go ahead and buy you some pollen. Uh, you can buy the bee supply stores. We sell them in our store, you can order it. It's not, it's not hard to get, it's easy. It's just, you make pollen patties with them and you put a little bit right here, unless your frame has a lot of pollen on it. And then they can carry on and then they can bring some in but you want to make sure that it does have a little bit of pollen on it. And then basically you put a feeder on it, sugar water, it's ready to go. It's that simple. It's easy. You don't, these are very forgiving. You don't have to come out and when that queen comes back and expect a whole bunch of bees to be in there and packed and then they swarm the very next day. That's what happens with those little bitty ones, those little tiny ones, I'm telling you straight up. We've, we've used them, we've tried them. Uh, if you work a full-time job, uh, get ready for for some uh a surprise because those things just don't work that well these do these are very forgiving you have double the space right here they can when that queen comes back they will always bring more bees back with them always and they'll start drawing this up really fast this other side and they're very forgiving uh we overwintered uh six out seven and they overwintered very good here in georgia in north georgia it got down to about eight degrees. So you can kind of base your location and your your temperatures, what they get down to in your winter. So if you're around about 10 degrees, that's your low, you can do these also. Now, the good thing about these, okay, say we got an empty right here. When they draw this out, that queen comes back, she starts laying, this side's filled out. All you gotta do is, is pull this frame out and stick it here and then you got another one put another empty in here put an empty back in there now you got two you can keep multiplying these you always have queens throughout the year it's very easy simple to do these are like i said very forgiving and you'll love these they're not complex these are 
for the new beekeeper all the way up to the advanced beekeeper and a lot of people have been using these these are barnyard bee original we designed these last year and uh, a lot of people compare them to the queen castle which queen castle has they're basically four of these put together into one 10 frame box with dividers in the middle and but the good thing about these is a queen castle is confined really close together a lot of times those queens come back they get confused they'll go in the wrong hole these here you can separate them as, as far as you want they're individual uh, you don't have to open this one and expose to the whole hive they're separate where the other one you open the top sometimes you know they'll have they have they do have individual blue on plywood in between but it's 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 not good these are so much easier to do especially for the new beekeeper or anybody we love these we get a lot of queens this way this is how we raise our queens and we raise a lot of them so saying that uh 30 days like i said give your queen 30 days if you do a walkaway split walkaway split is where you just leave it as is and uh, put a pollen patty on it to feed her and let it go it'll take that queen from the time they draw out the cell the queen cell by the time it hatches she matures inside the hive a little bit before she can fly she flies out she mates when she's satisfied on the amount of mating that she needs she'll start laying it's usually around about 30 days in early season possibly 20 and it's but on average it's usually right at 30 days now you can increase that time less time by adding a queen cells that are ready to hatch now now you're getting into a little bit more difficult a little bit more advanced beekeepers know what they're doing with stuff like that or adding virgin queens from from grafting now there's different ways and like i said you can you can decrease that time because you put a virgin queen in there now all she has to do is uh mature a couple of days fly out mate and usually about a week by the time you add a virgin queen she's she's back and and mated and laying eggs and a queen cell maybe just a little bit less time because she's got a hatch sometimes it's it's not you won't know the exact day but it's pretty close so you put her in you put the cell in it hatches um now the queen cell of course is not always guaranteed to hatch where the virgin queen is she's hatched ready to go your acceptance of your uh, queen cell is a lot better because they'll almost always accept a queen cell and almost always will accept a virgin queen sometimes not but as you can see as it goes on it gets more complex and harder especially for the new beekeeper but this right here kind of put all that aside that i just said about that if you just want to make you some queens make you up five of these out of five of these you'll get three of them back with a mated queen now make sure your your like i said your nighttime temperatures are okay and you do have a few drones by the time most new beekeepers get their bees and they build up you got all that ready anyway it's already warm enough and there's already plenty of drones so so most of the time you're okay to do that if you're not sure ask us we'll hit we'll help you out and that's what barnyard bees we're here to help a new beekeeper we get calls every single day i answer as many questions as possible on youtube and on uh, our yahoo address and uh so we got we, we get a lot of questions asking we don't mind answering them because we're here to help out the new beekeeper now also uh we have now got an instagram page uh we're trying to get that instagram page built up i'll put the link in the description please uh, please share it and we're trying to get it built up so please help us out with that that'll also help get things out to the new beekeeper as well and so now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and announce the winners for the the queen rearing night caught set which we had on the the video uh new beekeepers and what you need to get started so the winner of the night caught kit is charles thomas charles thomas please call our store and she will get your uh, heather will get your nycock kit 
wrapped up and mailed out to you. And the winner of the three pound package that we had the video maybe about a month ago, I'm not sure about giving away the free package, is Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Please contact the store. We selected these people on random pick, so there's no, that's just best way to do it, just randomly pick drawing. So th there's our two winners. Uh, contact the store, she will get those mailed out to you. You can, you can also opt if you'd rather have the gift card. I believe the gift card for the, for the three pound package, if you'd rather have a, uh, a gift card is $100, and I believe the gift card for the night call kit is $50, I believe. So, that's about it for that. And please like and subscribe. Please click on our little bell. It helps our videos out, get out to more and more people. Please help try to spread these videos out, because the more beekeepers we have, the better we are with saving these honeybees. We need a lot of help, and, and we're here to try to help everybody out and get everybody started. So please spread these out, help our Instagram. We'll put that Instagram link in the, and we'll also put the, all the store number is area code 706-971-2700. I'll put the, the store number. Our, uh, we're almost done with our website as well. Uh, it won't be long, hopefully within a month, maybe earlier. Uh, people can buy anything we got there. You know, you can order anything and it'll be ready to go. So we're really excited about getting that website up. So we'll put it, uh, the website in the description. Right now it's just our old website. But be looking. And, and also uh, in Georgia we have got in, our man, in the Man Lake catalog. You will see we are now one of the top distributors. And so you can, you can check us out and see our name, Barnyard Bees. In the back of the catalog for Georgia, we're the first on the listing, the 2018 catalog. So that's about it for today. Please make you up some of these. You will not regret them. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.